All right, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna to be diving into Lightroom, and I'm gonna be showing you how to edit your photos with a very moody green look to them. We're gonna be taking a photo like this to this. No, we're gonna be taking this photo from this to this. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's dive into Lightroom, let's waste no more time, and let's show you how to edit with a very moody green colors. All right, so here we are inside of Lightroom, and this is the photo we're gonna be starting with. Now, of course, to be honest with you, nine times out of 10, actually, no, I'm gonna, that's a lie. 10 times out of 10, I just edit with my presets. But for today, we're gonna to be closing the preset tab, and if you guys do wanna pick up some presets, my presets, my master collection of presets, you can do so by using this code at checkout for a cheeky little discount to save yourself a whole lot of time and pretty much just get all the looks that I use in all of my photos. But like I said today, we're gonna to be closing the preset tab and I'm gonna be showing you from start to finish exactly how I get this look on this shot. All right, let's dive in. So first of all, Shout out to Luca for taking this photo. I absolutely love this shot here in Bali. This is one of my favorite locations. Pretty much no one knows where it is, and I'm not gonna tell you either, even if you ask. It's hidden, it's a secret. Anyway, let's start in the, uh, the basic tab here. So first things first, I'm gonna increase the shadows a little bit. I'm a little dark there. We're going to drop the contrast just a little bit, and we're also gonna drop the clarity. I love, love dropping the clarity on photos. I think it just adds a little bit of sauce in there. It softens it up, sharp photos are everywhere. This is something I do on all of my photos. We are gonna decrease the highlights just a little bit and I'm gonna be happy there. I'm then gonna come into the tone curve. I'm gonna add a nice little S curve here, really boosting those mid tones. I'm also gonna add a nice moody fade over the entire image. Just turning the tone curve on and off it's crazy how much just those little details, those little changes to the curve, like, man, wild stuff. Anyway, I'm loving it so far. So to be honest with you, this has nothing to do with the moody color grade. We just need to make these changes to make sure we can get into the HSL tab and be editing with accurate exposure, if you will. And to be honest with you, this is where all the magic happens. So there are two colors when it comes to moody green color grades. You've got yellows and greens. That's pretty much it. And in my opinion, what I like to do here is purely just desaturate both of them. If I shot with an accurate white balance, which here I have fortunately, I don't really need to play around with the hue of them. You can by all means, but for this photo, I don't think it's necessary. So as we can see here, playing with the greens, sure, there's quite a lot of green in the image, but there isn't as much as you would think. It's mind blowing how much yellow is in plants, or at least how much yellow cameras think are in plants. It's, it's crazy, but anyway. That is pretty much all we have to do in here. But of course, we're gonna make some other adjustments. We're also gonna desaturate the aqua as I can spot a little bit of aqua in this kind of area. And I don't want too much blue on the mountain whatsoever. We're also gonna desaturate the blue while we're here, but we're gonna increase the luminance of it. And that is to make the mountain brighter and contrast my head because my head is darker. Um, and we are more or less gonna be pretty happy with that. We are gonna add a little bit of aqua into the blues, maybe a little bit of green into the yellows. How's my skin tone looking? I think I was looking pretty tan then, so I don't need to play with the oranges whatsoever. I'm happy with that. Possibly a little rise? No, nothing too crazy, maybe a little bit. Um, and then the luminance on the yellow, we actually might go yeah, we'll go up a little bit. Okay, before, after, things are looking good so far. We've still got a long way to go, don't get me wrong, but I really like this. And if you have a look at the, uh, just the HSL, just the HSL effects, this is already looking amazing. I love the moody kind of color grade. Sure, we've got a long way to go, but this is already looking great. All right, into the color grading tab, which is another spot where you can really start to sell this look. And to be honest with you, there are I know there are three little color grading areas here. There are four. If you click here, you get global. And this is what I love. Now I'm gonna add, what I usually do to check where I wanna add color is I, I saturate it quite a bit. And then I purely just go around like this. And I say, oh, okay, I like it here. Maybe a little bit more aqua. And then I desaturate it like crazy. I never wanna make too many changes or too much of a change with the color grading, at least for me and at least this photo purely for the fact that I, I like the colors already, so I'm not interested in making too much of a change. As you can see, that's just added a nice kind of blue hint, and a blue tint over the entire image. We're gonna also add a little bit of blue into the highlights, a little bit of blue into the shadows, not there, and we're gonna dial this back 
quite a lot. And then my favorite thing to do is add a little bit of orange into the mid-tones because that is where my skin tones should be sitting. And then if we have a look at before and after color grading, it just kind of cleans it up. I like it. I love adding blues into the highlights, especially at golden hour. Don't ask me why, it's just a vibe. I like it. And that is pretty much it. We can then come into camera calibration down here where I'm just gonna make some quick adjustments. I'm gonna be looking at the greens mostly for this because of course that is what we are going for. I can always adjust the temperature or color of my skin later on. But as we can see here, we can really dial in this moody. Oh, okay, not that way. But to be honest with you, we're probably gonna lean a little bit that way. Nothing too crazy and everything on the desaturated to side of life. All right, so that is the basic edit before, after. Give me a chance. I know, it's not done yet. We're then gonna come in here and select the sky. We are gonna drop the exposure on the sky quite a lot, and we are going to just de- oh no, de-temperature? Drop the temperature, if you will. We're then gonna come in here, select me, all right, let it low. Oh, here we go. Detect me, entire person, create mask. We're gonna brighten myself up just a little bit, nothing too crazy. We don't wanna sell, sell it like we're a beginner editor. And then we're also gonna draw a nice radial filter over here. We're gonna invert it, and that's how I'm gonna add my vignette. I'm also noticing that the sky is a little bit too dark. Nothing crazy there. And then up here in the corner, I can see we're getting a little bit of darkness. So we're just gonna remove that beautiful stuff and then we're going to come in here and we're going to add some light not even add some light just add more of it i suppose we're going to increase the exposure there drop the clarity drop the dehaze quite a lot there we go i'm loving it and then if we just have a quick before and after this is already looking sick in my opinion we're then going to clean up the crop just a touch we'll go four by five for instagram a little less on the sky I think we'll actually know probably a little more on the sky actually maybe we go this way just a touch there we go and then the last thing i want to do here is add another radial gradient around the bottom of my shoes this little area here just is a little bit too bright for my liking i'm going to just dial that down a little bit and there we go before and after i'm loving it i think this is a solid edit it's definitely the moody greens that box gets ticked but i I kind of like the, the contrast between the greens and the blues in the sky. I think it looks beautiful. And then of course, with the, the orange skin tones in the middle, just nailing those, I guess, color contrasts throughout. I think this looks great. If anything, I'm probably a little too saturated for this shot. We might turn the, uh, the oranges down just a little bit, but increase, increase the luminance of them. I'm a happy camper. I think that looks great. If anything, I'd probably dive into Photoshop and make the mountain just a little bigger. Maybe that's a separate video. I'm not gonna do it today. If you wanna learn, let me know down in the comments below. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Guys, that is my before and after of my moody color grade on Lightroom. Like I said before, if you wanna save yourself a stack of time and not have to worry about dialing in all these settings, you already know, Lightroom presets down in the description. You can use this code at checkout for a cheeky little discount. And uh, yeah, you can get these looks and a whole bunch more, over 50 looks in my master collection. So yeah, knock yourself out, go over there and have an absolute blast. But that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, let me know down below. If you're new around here, a subscribe would mean the world and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.